First of all, I'm going to look at what makes this hardware different from a lot of other screens on the market. What you'll notice is there is an inbuilt computer. Now what this allows me to do is what we call walk up and use functionality. So if you've had a touch screen in the past, they probably didn't have a computer and you were reliant on using the teacher's computer with your screen on your projector. The new version 2 of the MX comes with this amazing inbuilt computer that allows you to use it for teaching and learning without having a teacher computer present. So that may well be that you want to show them one thing while doing something else on your computer or it may well be as a teacher you're away doing your PPA and you have a teaching assistant in the classroom who doesn't have their own computer with them. Now what I've got the ability to do here is a few fold. I have got a whiteboard built in. So I can do uh, my whiteboarding with my pupils. I can choose lined, paper, drawing, whichever I want to do with it. Now, the first thing that I think that works really well with this smart screen using their teaching experience is I have the ability to write, move, and rub out without having to select any icons on a menu. Now that's really useful, particularly down in key stage one, and I can guarantee you as a teacher, the hundredth time you've written something, spoken to your class, and gone to move it, and instead of moving it, you've drawn a line and you have to delete it, you will find this a godsend. Um, the other great thing that Smart have introduced in here is I've got a whole host of things that I can do. I've got my usual pens that I can pick and my colors. I've also got the ability to in input online content. So whether that be a, a YouTube video or a image that I'm looking for, I just simply search for it and it will bring me up images that I can just drag out and drop onto the screen or alternatively I can skip all of the hassle of the YouTube website and just come straight to the content from YouTube, press play on the screen and run that video with no adverts, no suggested videos or any of the other distractions around the outside. You've also got some tools now like rulers and protractors so you'll see this is becoming more and more useful and when I add a screen I've got the ability to add some graphical organizer content whether that be brainstorming, concept mapping, columns, flow charts or I've even got the ability to add in manipulative content so in this case I want to use my fraction tile I open it up and I've now got the ability to use this for teaching when I'm working with a class whether that be me as the teacher or bringing pupils up to the screen to use it. For those of you that have had your uh, smart screens for a while, you will notice that this has got better over time. One of the brilliant things about the smart screens, just like your iPads at home, it gets over the air updates. So what you'll notice if you haven't updated your screen in the past, is you have got more features inside the whiteboard. You can also cast more screens to it and these are free of charge updates updates. So the brilliant thing with investing in smart is your smart product will continue to get better over time and it won't cost you any money to do that. So um, I have a home button so when I want to I can come right back out to the front of my computer. You'll notice here it's storing my content from previous days and lessons so I can easily find it. I do have a web browser built in so if I want to show anything onto the internet Class Dojo, BBC Bite Size, News Round, I can access all of that without having my teacher computer plugged in. And what you'll notice as well, I have got screen share. Now the brilliant thing about screen share is the ability to share content from a mobile device like an iPad directly to the screen without faffing with any cables. Screen share is incredibly easy to use. I just tip the screen share button. I can scan a QR code if I want, but as I'm using an iOS device, it's really easy. I pull down from the corner, hit screen mirroring. I can see CEC MXV2 appears. I just start mirroring to the screen and what you'll notice is my iPad is now on the screen for me to be able to show a model with pupils whether that be me on my device or them showing some research that they've done on theirs. What you'll also notice is you have the ability to cast more than one device. 
So at the moment I can cast two different devices. The plans are in a future update that you will be able to have four different devices, whether that be a Chromebook, a laptop or an iPad, all casting to the screen wirelessly. Now the feedback I've had from teachers is they really like that because they can watch in real time what is on the pupil screens while they're actually doing the research independently so that you can help manage the classroom that way. What you'll notice just here, I have an option that says apps. So I can actually download and install apps for use on the screens, okay? So if I come into apps, you'll see initially I've already got some apps loaded up onto my board. I just simply hit add new and it gives me the option. So I have some Android apps here and if I want to install an Office program, I just simply hit download and it'll install it into the screen. I've also got some really useful ones here where I've got an MX user guide for the teacher and I've also got access to the Microsoft and Google suite of programs. Now when I pair those Microsoft and Google programs with the USB port here I can take a PowerPoint presentation, a Word document, straight on a USB stick, plug it into the screen and this gives me the method of delivering that all without having my teacher computer plugged in. So everything I've been doing up until this point has just been using the computer built into the screen. Um, You'll also notice input. Now input is one of my favorite things because I can have multiple different devices plugged in. You'll see I've got my computer and my visualizer. Normally, I'd have to guess which HDMI port or which VGA port it was plugged into. Not anymore. If I hit input, what you'll notice is I get a live tile view of my different sources. I've even been able to rename them from teacher, computer and visualizer. In this particular case, I want to jump into my teacher computer. I know exactly which one I'm doing. I just select it and it comes and it's ready for me to use and interact on the screen. You may or may not know there are some real advantages to touch screens over your whiteboards and projectors such as no light in my eyes, no shadow on the board, this screen won't get duller over time and because all smart screens come with the Energy Star certification you know that it's using a small amount of energy keeping your costs low as a school. Now a great thing about a touch screen over your whiteboard and projector is that this is effectively a great big tablet on the wall so I can pinch and zoom, I can and scroll just like I would do on a tablet making it incredibly easy for younger users to use and more importantly with a touch screen I have the ability for four or five different pupils to be using the screen collaboratively together at the same time. What I'm going to do now is just focus a few minutes on Smart Notebook 19 a lot of schools are still using Smart Notebook 11. Um, one of the great things about the packages of Smart through elementary technology is that it does come with an upgraded seven year warranty. So if anything goes wrong, an engineer will come to the school, repair or replace it then and there. You don't need to do anything other than report it as a school. And it will also come with seven years full licensing for Smart Learning Suite. So you know that you're gonna have the most up-to-date version of the software for the foreseeable future. Now I think Smart Notebook or Smart Learning Suite as it now is known really starts to emphasize that teaching and learning pedigree that Smart has. As I said previously, some manufacturers in this market are manufacturers, not education companies. Smart is an education company Company that happens to make hardware to better implement its teaching and learning software and I think you start to see it on some things here so I have a dashboard with my most recent flip charts so I can easily access them um, and smart work with 3,000 teachers per year constantly finding out what they need and how they can make this product better for teachers to use and there's two things that constantly come back number one I don't have the time to create fancy resources and number two I don't have the confidence to create fancy resources and what you'll see is is smart are constantly thinking about that with the improvements that they make to the software so what I've got here is the ability to do some learn the basics 
which takes me to a great website online that covers video tutorials on the use of their products. But the bit I really like is this section here. Um, I've got a full version of Smart Notebook that loads up that's a real safe place for me to test and play. You might think to yourself, well I've never really used the maths tools. If I press the maths tool here, what it does is it loads up a video by a teacher on how to use those tools. And what you'll notice here, every single one of these buttons has a video that is between three minutes and 30 seconds long that show you exactly how you can use that moving forward. I think that's really useful. Another great thing about working with element elementary technology is that we will come in and do ongoing training and support for you and your staff on the use of the hardware and the software, meaning that you get the best outcomes for your investment in this technology. I'll come back into Smart. The other bit that I really like is browse content. When I hit browse content, it takes me off to a website called Smart Exchange that Smart have had for about the last eight years, where I can download and find ready-made content. The idea being is, as a teacher, if you've got to sit teach telling time, there's another 10,000 teachers that are all doing the same, why create 10,000 different versions of the flip chart? So all I do is I search for something and I download it. It's completely free they're completely editable and you can take away and add whatever you want to it. Now activities are amazing. You can drop those into your existing flip charts to zhuzh up what you've been using for a few years. But one of the things we specialize in is working with teachers, how they can use this practically to progress through a learning journey using activities. So I've just picked four of the 15 different activities. I'm gonna give you an example of how you might use this over a number of days or a week or so to progress learning from giving the basic concept all the way through to assessment and feedback at the end. So we're going to start off, I'm giving an example of modal verbs. The first thing that you want to do with modal verbs is get the pupils to understand that they can either be certain or they can be possible. I can stand here modelling, is must, certain or possible. I think it's a certainty, I put it into the canon and that gives me the reinforcement that it is. Once I've modelled that, I push it out to the mobile devices and the children can all have a go on those activities themselves. Once I think they've got the understanding of whether it's certain or possibility, I want to actually start looking at this in context. So I'm using fill in the blanks now where they can simply come up. Bilbo knew he something ought to, will or might get in trouble. If somebody says it's ought, because that's the wrong answer, it doesn't stick. I switch to my, it sticks and it gives me the reinforcement again. Again, they do this on their own to continue their learning. The following day, I might get them to come up to the class to recircle which of these are modal verbs that we've been learning about previously. And then I move on to a final activity where I want them to start doing some work here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this pushed out to a mobile device. So my pupils have gone to hellosmart.com and they've put my teacher number into the device. And here, I'm asking them to text me up a certain modal verb and a probability uh, possible modal verb. So if I just hit start, my class can now start to send uh, words up to it. So we can see Jerry set up will as a certainty and we'll start to get some more answers. This is all of the pupils having a go of their own on a device and sending you up answers. So I've now got a possibility from them and the final one's going to come up which allows me to start to do some interactivity. So what I've got the possibility to do is let's say this was in the wrong column. I can intervene and move them about so I can start to do some immediate intervention based on my pupils responses. The thing I really like about this, this isn't me as the teacher stood here with the pen writing all the answers while they sit there with a the hand up waiting to be asked for a response. Everybody's actively involved, everybody participates and everybody's responses are important. 
The final phase of the activities for use in this learning about modal verbs that I'm using is smart response. What this allows me to do is to create a number of questions in any format that I want which I mark at the same time. And so in this case what you'll see here is I've just created four or five questions some are multiple choice. I've marked them as I've done it and that's really important because I only mark it once when I create it. It doesn't matter how many times I hand it out, when they answer it comes back to me as the teacher ready marked. Okay, So in this particular case I can do four or five questions at the end of a, uh, at the end of teaching to see have they understood it. Hopefully what you can see is that smart software particularly with the activity builder some of the tools that we can use is massively improved. I just want to show you one or two last bits here so I'm going to insert a blank page and I'm going to use some of the icons down the side here. I'm coming into the add-ons you'll see now I've got image search built into smart. The thing that a lot of teachers really like is the ability to embed a YouTube video directly into your smart player. So all I do is I hit search, I find what I want, it gives me a number of options, I know this is the one I want, I hit add video and as simply as that I've cut out the YouTube website. I recenter it, I've got no adverts, I've got no suggested videos and I just simply have the content that I want. There are lots of teachers out there that think they're not very good with technology or software. I can guarantee you every single one of you will be able to use smart blocks. I select smart blocks, I then pick what maths operation it is that I want to do. So I'm going to do some adding and as a teacher I'm going to be doing some number bonds work with my class. So what I'm going to do here is look at three and I then talk to my class, what is the number bond that I need to make this 10? Hopefully somebody says 7, I can bring them up to the board to do it or I can do it myself and what you'll notice here is it does all of the addition for me and I can actually add blocks together so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add these blocks together I might talk about what do I need to do now to make this 50 really really good for your multiple step maths problems and show Going visually how you can move through those steps. As mentioned before everything that you do and create in Smart Notebook can be delivered online as part of Smart Learning Suite via Smart Learning Suite Online and in this current crisis we think that's really useful because you can send work out, children can do it, you can see their progress and you can give them feedback using it. Hopefully what you've seen throughout this demonstration is that smart strategy is all about the connected classroom and making life easy for you as teachers. So smart as a product set will grow with you as a school. So I can create from anywhere. I can deliver to the board where it's either me modelling or pupils working collaboratively together. I can push work and activities out to groups of children to work in projects or I can receive feedback from from those pupils directly to me at the board as to what you've already seen. I think actually this is an amazing package for you as a school and will really help drive teaching and learning through the next five to six years while in use throughout the school. Here's some feedback from pupils from a Wakefield school that we've been working with closely for the last four years or so. And generally what they're saying is, is they like being able to interact at the board together. They love having activities sent out to them for to, to work on their own. And more importantly, they also love being able to send information back to the board for the teacher to use. Now we've seen some really stunning results from the school in question. Now this is down to hard work and dedication over three or four years from the school. We've supported them on how to get the most out of the technology which I think is really important if you're going to be investing this money in new technology. You need training and support on how to best achieve reducing teacher workload and improving pupil outcomes from better engagement in the class. What we can see here is the thing for me through the use of technology they've seen their persistent absenteeism come from just over 21% 
percent down to just over eight percent an absolutely stunning result what they've also seen is a massive improvement in their age related and greater depth scores so in reading from 46 percent to 63 percent greater depth from zero to 23 percent writing age related 67 to 77 greater depth from 8 to 37 percent. Now as I said this isn't just through the use of new technology it's a mixture of hard work and dedication by that school in question coupled with engaging technology and working with a partner that will help you get the most from this technology in your schools.